In this video, uh, we're going to make a little nipple wrench. I've got a piece of half inch drill rod. Uh, which some of you may not know what that is. It's, it's uh, basically steel you can get really hard. You can make drill bits or boring bars or cutting tools or whatever you want out of it. The machine's pretty easy, but then you can heat it up and get it quite hard. So first thing we're going to do is center drill this and we'll go to that. I'll go ahead and do that and we'll pick it up in a second. Okay, there we go. Um, we'll look at my drawing and see what diameter the end of the nipple actually is. Select that drill bit and then we'll drill in for that. So the nipple stem is 180 thousandths in diameter at the base. Uh, it tapers up to about 178 probably. So we're going to use a 182 thousandths drill bit and the length on it from the end of the nipple here to the bottom of that shoulder is 400 thousandths. So that's how deep we've got to drill. Then we've got to allow for the, the bevel on the end of the drill bit and that's probably you know, 60,000. So we're gonna drill it in about 460,000 deep. So in a couple of my other videos, you've seen how I, how I hit hole depth, 30,000 feeler gauge, <clears throat> the tailstock set at 900,000 um, and not locked in. Come up till we touch the feeler gauge then we go up to 70, which leaves us 30 thousandths short, which is the thickness of that feeler gauge. Back it up a little bit, pull the feeler gauge out, and when we advance up to zero, we will truly be zeroed with the end of the part.
300. Actually, we're at 470. So I want to make sure we've got enough space there. That should slide right in. Next, we got to turn that down to 395 so it fits in the 400 uh, breech plug. And we're at 500, so we should be able to come in, touch the side of it, set the DRO at 500, which is half inch diameter on this, and then cut it down till we get close to 400, check it, make an adjustment on the digital readout and cut the final cut at 395. Um, so, and it's gonna be, I think it was 215 deep. Let me double check that real quick. Yeah, it's 215 thousandths deep. in and just touch right there I'm gonna do this by hand. So that cut was 460.
So the stupid alarm clock that tells me I need to leave and go to work just went off right in the middle of that last cut. Uh, we are at 215 thousandths long on this shoulder here. And we were at, I backed it up, 420. So we're going to change the pit so we leave a chamfer on the edge of this instead of a square shoulder. We'll make our final couple of cuts there. So let me get the bit changed out. And then I gotta go to work and then after work we'll pick it up. Okay, so we're back. Uh, get a little more centered shot of that. That's a little better. I put some indicator fluid on and I've changed the tool to one that's got a 30 degree angle. It's my threading tool. Um, I've come in and zeroed it, take a little uh, skim cut, measured it, got the dimensions plugged into the digital readout. And this should be the last pass on this. I was at uh, I don't remember what number it was. It was 414.4 is what I was at. So we're going to go down to 398. A couple thousandths <clears throat> under the, <clears throat> excuse me, the 400 for the inside of the breech plug. And we're going to cut it up to 215 deep and then put a slight chamfer on the edge so that's not sharp. It won't be much of a chamfer, but just a little one. Then I'm going to lightly sand it. Um, so it looks nice and shiny and then we'll cut it off, put it in the rotary table, turn the hex on the other end and, and cut our slot for the sides to grab onto the nipple. So here we go, 398. Measure that. Wow, I don't know what happened. That ended up three ninety six. So, anyway, it should still be fine. Actually, I was going to go for 395, not 398, so messed up and got it okay. Yeah, 396, I don't know if you can see that. So, back up. <clears throat> Must have had a little burr or something under my micrometer when I measured it the first time. <clears throat> Just gonna take a really light chamfer on that corner there. Like 
that. the breech plug. It's just right. Okay, I'm going to stop it here, sand it, get it nice and shiny. And we'll put it in the mill.